Gejitsu wa bakuhazda. Art is an explosion. Dedara's favorite phrase. What's up, guy? Tai here with Primo Collectibles, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have the brand new statue from Iron Kites, one of my favorite members of Akatsuki. So, if you are new here, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out our new content. Now, let's jump into the unbox now. Ka! So I have done my review already for the Iron Kite, Naruto and Gara. It's right below in the description or somewhere around here. You should click it and watch it, it's pretty dope. So this is Iron Kite Dedara. Let's quickly go over to the spec. This is 1 4 scale, the length is 47 cm and the width is 53 cm and the height is 61 cm and as for the weight, it's approximately 18 kg. The statue is also limited to only 400 pieces worldwide and come with a certificate of authenticity. On top of that, it also come with a poster with an instruction guide at the back. Okay, let's talk about the main concept design for this statue. The overall design concept of the statue is based on the Kaze Kage rescue art where Dedara and Sasori were sent to Suna Kagure with the mission to capture Gara which is also the Jinjuriki of Shukaku. Many of the design elements were based on the fight scene between Dedaras and Gara. If you are familiar with the anime, this fight scene happened at the very beginning of the first few episodes in Naruto Shippuden. Now let's start off with the base. At the bottom, you have the same black rounded under base, which I'm not a big fan of it. And it comes with two exchangeable nameplates one is Dedara name written in kanji and another nameplate is Dedara in English. You can also see the Dedara signature clavered on the word. One thing you want to be aware of is the underbase is now a separate piece without anything permanently attached to it. So if you have to plan to move it, be careful. Moving up, you have these huge piles of sand bursting out surrounding Dedara and these are actually Gara's sand that try to chase down Dedara. I love the way how they capture the flow of the sand. The texture on the sand looks good. They have some explosion effect around the sand. The paintwork on the explosion effect is really cool. They have some nice yellow and orange gradation. And you can see some sand and rock pieces burst out from the smoke and explosion. 
And here we have the three exploding claybird released by the Dara. The scalp of the claybird looks great, and these claybirds are supported with a very thin smoke effect pieces. Although the claybirds look big in size, but they are actually quite light in weight, and the smoke effect are strong enough to support them. As you move up a little bit, you can see a big chunk of sand is coming out grabbing Dedara's right leg where he's about to fly away. And at the tide, there's an explosion effect. I think this is Dedara trying to escape from the sand and with the explosion jutsu. His pants has some nice texturing details and some sand dirt effect on it. Now let's take a closer look at Akatsuki iconic cloak which I think is the coolest outfit in the entire Naruto series. Usually, I'm not a big fan of unnecessary texture on anime characters' outfit because they usually don't look well and blending well with the characters. But Iron Kite did a very good job on this. The texturings on the rope are blending nicely and it looks super cool. It makes the whole Akatsuki rope look so classy and premium. The red cloud are nicely painted, the creases and folds on the ropes look natural, and the ropes also have a very nice dynamic flowing pose at the bottom. On his right hand, we can see the creepy mouth and tongue on his palm. I feel that the painting of his tongue should be more slimy and wet. It looks a little bit dry, but anyway, it's still a good looking tongue. On his right index finger, you can see the Akatsuki ring with the kanji Ao, which means the blue in Japanese. The details on the ring is great, but they even have some sort of reflection transparent cover on the word. They really do a nice job on such small details. This Dedara come with two portraits. I like both of them. Iron Kai really nailed the lightness of the face and they are so anime accurate. It really depends on your personal person how you want to display him. The first portrait has a more serious expression and like he is about to release his explosion. Car. <laughs> and this portrait is my personal favorite. What I really love about this portrait over the other is the evil grin that he has on his face. Even though his leg is being captured by Gara San, but his smirk expression kind of tells you that, oh, no big deal, I can get out from that. Both portraits have the same hair flowing direction. In fact, he's in the middle of the fight with explosion going everywhere. His hair is blowing in the wind. The hair has nice orange yellow gradation paint on it, so it doesn't look flat. On both portraits, they have the same scope that he wears on his left eye for a wrong range observation. If there's one thing I would like to complain about both portraits is that the eye scope looks a bit plasticky, but it's just me being nitpicking. I think the overall portrait are just fantastic. So that was Dedara from Iron Kai, the fourth Naruto statue. Dedara is one of my favorite characters in Akatsuki. In fact, I think I'm not the only one that likes him because he always ranked in top 10 in character posts for several times. The statue has a fantastic design and able to capture all aspects of Dedara nicely to bring out his unique characteristic. I really cannot find a reason not to recommend this piece except the rounded underbase. Anyway, Kai is really on fire with all the Naruto quarter scale lineup. They announced Kakashi, Tsunade during Wonderfest, and most likely, if we are in luck, we should be able to see Hinata shipping by December. Alright guys, let me know in the comment what do you guys think about this piece. Check out the other relevant content and I will see you in the next unbox. <laughs>